If someone said that a $10,000 car could run for a million miles without replacing the battery, most people would laugh, dismissing it as an exaggeration or pure marketing. But when this promise comes directly from Elon Musk's mouth, the world stops and listens. And it wasn't a casual comment. During a presentation, Musk was emphatic. The Tesla Model 2, the brand's most affordable vehicle, is being built with each component designed to last over a million miles. It's not just the engine or the frame, the battery also comes into play. And that's exactly where the story starts to get surreal. Imagine running more than 3 million kilometers with the same set of batteries. This is possible thanks to a new type of cell called 46 8 Aero Gen 2, which underwent extreme laboratory tests. According to experts, more than 13,000 full charge cycles, which equates to decades of continuous use. And even after all this time, the system still maintains more than 90% of original capacity for anyone who drives every day. This means never having to worry about battery replacements again, and maybe even heavy maintenance. The battery's durability is even more impressive when we look at the long-term performance data. Under real-world conditions, including varying climates and intense driving habits, testing has shown the system to be resilient to extreme temperatures and incomplete charging cycles and even at constant acceleration. This completely changes the way people think about the lifespan of a vehicle. If the battery was previously the Achilles heel of electric cars, now it can become the most reliable component of the entire system. And what seemed like an inaccessible luxury for the few is now entering the mainstream. The Model 2 has an estimated price of $10.199 less than many used cars. But this price doesn't reflect a simplified car or one with cut features. On the contrary, the model was designed to be the first mass-market electric car with potential for financial return, thanks to the possibility of operating Asrobo Taxi. In other words, when the owner isn't using the car, it can run on its own, generating revenue. And with a battery that lasts decades, this becomes a long-term investment. The logic behind this is simple, but brilliant. If the biggest cost of an electric car is the battery, and it now practically never needs to be replaced, the entire business model changes. Instead of thinking about depreciation, maintenance, or resale, the owner begins to calculate how long it will take for the car to pay for itself. It's a complete reversal in the concept of ownership. The car, once a liability and expensive, now functions as income-generating machine, almost like a rental property that moves through the streets while you sleep. This also creates a new layer of competitiveness in the market. Manufacturers still stuck with conventional battery logic will be forced to rethink their entire vehicle designs because consumers, once exposed to the idea of a car that pays for itself and doesn't require expensive maintenance, will not accept anything less than that. The pressure now is not just to innovate in appearance or autonomy, but in longevity and total cost of ownership. And in that regard, Tesla is 10 steps ahead. This shift also calls into question what sustainability means. By extending the car's lifespan to a million miles, Tesla is drastically reducing environmental impact that would come with the production and disposal of new batteries. This not only benefits the environment, but also strengthens the company's image among an increasingly conscious public. And in this scenario, the Model 2 isn't just a car, it's a powerful idea that an electric future can be affordable, accessible, and durable all at once. When we talk about a battery, many people just imagine a heavy block hidden in the floor of the car. But the new 468 Oro Gen 2 Cell Tesla's battery is practically a living creature, designed not only to store energy, but also to handle heat, extreme loads, wear and tear, and even simplify the entire vehicle structure. The main change begins with size. Engineers increase the cell height from 80 mm to 90 mm. It may seem small at first glance, but this small adjustment generates a gain in up to 20% in internal volume. 
which allows more energy to be stored per cell without increasing the size of the car. This internal growth doesn't just serve to pack more energy into the cell. It also brings unseen but crucial benefits. For example, by using fewer cells to make up the same battery pack, Tesla reduces connection and soldering points, which reduces the chances of electrical failures. It's like putting together a puzzle with fewer pieces, simpler, faster, and less likely to go wrong. This has a direct impact on production costs, assembly time, and of course, the durability of the system as a whole. Another problem the new format helps solve is heat. Every battery gets hot, especially when charging quickly or during aggressive acceleration. The Gen 2's taller structure improves the surface to volume ratio, making it easier to charge. Dot natural heat dissipation. And as if that wasn't enough, Tesla redesigned the cooling system using new thermal plates and more efficient materials, which distributes the temperature more evenly. The result? Fewer hot spots, less risk of overheating, and an even longer lifespan. But the real advantage is what they took away, not what they added. Gen 2 maintains the famous design tableless. That is, without the internal metal tabs that conduct electricity within the cell. Instead, the electrical flow runs continuously throughout the cell body. This reduces electrical resistance by up to 50%, which translates into faster loading, less accumulated heat, and greater energy efficiency. It's like replacing a thin curved pipe with a wide straight one. The flow is smoother and more powerful. This becomes even more important when we think about scaled use. Robo-taxis, for example, require batteries that can withstand constantly high electrical demands without losing performance. A system that overheats or loses capacity after just a few years of use is simply no good. The new Gen 2 cell can maintain performance even after thousands of cycles and even better with enhanced security, which makes it ideal for this type of intensive commercial operation. Another important detail is that all this innovation doesn't compromise the vehicle's size or weight. On the contrary, the gain in energy and thermal efficiency allows the model to remain compact, lightweight, and affordable without sacrificing autonomy. It is estimated that, even with a smaller battery than other models, it will be able to achieve between 250 and 300 miles of real range, enough to cover any urban need and most road trips. And since nothing at Tesla happens by chance, all this engineering also interacts with the car's final assembly. Fewer cells, fewer connections, fewer problems. The production line becomes more agile, costs fall, and future maintenance becomes easier. This allows the company to deliver a car of high technology for less than $11,000, something unthinkable just a few years ago. It's not just about doing better, it's about do more with less. This new battery, therefore, is not just an upgrade. It is a redefinition of what a power cell can be. It doesn't just store electricity. It organizes the logic of the car, guides production, and enables new usage models. If the old battery was a separate, heavy, and limited component, the 4680 Gen 2 is part of the vehicle's DNA, and when that becomes a reality, the entire industry is forced to take a new path, even if it means abandoning everything it knew until now. If there's one point that has always weighed against popular electric cars, it's the cost of batteries. Most of the most efficient cells use expensive metals like nickel and cobalt, which, in addition to being price inflated, carry a heavy burden of environmental and ethical problems. To get around this, Tesla made a bold choice. LFP cells, lithium iron phosphate in the Model 2. They are naturally cheaper, safer, and less dependent on fragile supply chains. But the company didn't stop there. To compensate for the lower energy density of this type of cell, the 4680 Gen 2 format, with greater volume and capacity per unit. The combination is ingenious. By increasing the physical size of the cell, Tesla can store more energy even with less potent chemistry. And with that, it achieves a more than respectable autonomy, something between 250 and 300 miles. 
which puts the Model 2 on par with much more expensive competitors. But perhaps the most impressive aspect of the adoption of LFP is the thermal resistance. These cells can withstand temperatures of up to 270 degrees Celsius before collapsing, compared to about 210 degrees Celsius for traditional ones. This means a lower risk of fire, less need for complex cooling systems, and greater peace of mind for drivers in extreme climates. Safety doesn't just come from temperature. The LFP also features a more stable chemistry, which reduces the chances of uncontrolled reactions in the event of a collision or electrical failure. For a car that can transform into a robo-taxi, this is essential. After all, it could be operating without a driver and with passengers on board. Tesla would need to ensure that any failure would have minimal impact, and choosing LFP helps exactly with that. But anyone who thinks this sacrifices performance is mistaken. By applying Thedry electrode technology inherited from Maxwell Technologies, Tesla took a leap forward in the efficiency of this chemistry. The dry electrode process eliminates the use of toxic solvents, reduces energy consumption in production by up to 40%, and also allows the creation of thicker and more efficient layers of active material within the cell. In practice, this brings LFP performance closer to that of nickel-cobalt-based batteries, but at a much lower cost. The result is a balance that's very rare in the industry. Low cost, high security, and good performance, all at the same time. And with that, the Model 2 manages to be not only cheap to buy, but also cheap to manufacture. Another relevant point is the environmental aspect. LFP production avoids the extraction of metals associated with human rights violations, such as cobalt from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Furthermore, manufacturing with dry electrodes drastically reduces the carbon footprint, since it uses less water and energy. This may seem like a technical detail, but for consumers attentive to company practices, it makes a difference. And when the final product costs less, and even has a genuine green seal, market acceptance explodes. In terms of logistics, LFP chemistry also facilitates transportation and storage. Because they are less flammable and sensitive, these batteries require less special care, which reduces the cost of the entire chain. This is directly reflected in the final price of the car. Every technical detail, from material selection to assembly technology, was designed to reduce cents per cell, which, when added together on a large scale, millions of dollars saved. This economic engineering is as strategic as the electrical engineering behind the project. What Tesla is doing here is more than using cheap chemicals. It's raising the LFP to a new level with technology that was previously reserved for the most premium batteries. The use of the 4680 format the tableless architecture and the dry electrodes create a scenario in which the LFP is no longer seen as a second-tier battery and becomes the ideal basis for mass-market electric cars. The Model 2 is the first to prove this, but the trend is that other automakers will end up following this same path, pressured by the rising costs of traditional materials. As impressive as all this chemical and structural innovation is, the fact is that none of it would have any real impact if Tesla wasn't able to produce these batteries on an absurd scale. And that's precisely where the beating heart of this plan comes in, the Giga Texas. This factory is not just another assembly line. It is the center of an aggressive industrial strategy designed to integrate cell production, pack assembly, and Model 2 manufacturing into a single continuous flow what does this mean in practice? Less transportation, less waste, more speed, and much more control over every step of the process. At Giga Texas, the new 4680 Gen 2 cells are produced using Thedry electrode technology, which in addition to being more sustainable, also accelerates the pace of manufacturing. This is because it eliminates several time-consuming steps and saves energy in the process. With the optimized lines, the factory is designed to achieve $100 per year by 2026, 
enough power to equip between 0.5 and 2 million Model 2 cars per year. Compared to current industry standards, this is a colossal leap. And the most interesting thing is that all of this happens within the United States, with local inputs and partnerships, which drastically reduces dependence on Asia. The choice to domesticate production isn't just a matter of logistics. It's a geopolitical and economic move. By reducing dependence on foreign supply chains, especially China, Tesla minimizes risks in times of global instability. And at the same time, it takes advantage of incentives and tax benefits offered by the U.S. government to companies that produce and assemble domestic batteries. This ensures more competitive prices for the end consumer without having to compromise on quality. It's not just product engineering, but business engineering. But Texas isn't the only point of this expansion. Tesla is also building Giga Mexico, a facility designed from the ground up to support mass production of the Model 2. Strategically located in the north of the country, this factory will take advantage of lower operating costs, including labor, energy, and infrastructure. Furthermore, its proximity to the American market facilitates the shipment of finished vehicles and further reduces logistics costs. The Mexican plant will specialize in affordable and scalable cars, such as the Model 2 itself and future robo-taxis. And speaking of robo-taxis, it's important to remember that mass production of these batteries and vehicles isn't just for supplying ordinary drivers. The real goal is to prepare the infrastructure for a global autonomous network, where millions of electric cars operate driverlessly, generating revenue for their owners and drastically reducing the cost per kilometer driven. Tesla's production capacity, with factories like those in Texas and Mexico working in synergy, is what will make this scenario viable on a global scale. And every cell produced today is a brick in that future. Another interesting point about Giga Texas is its automation. Tesla is investing heavily in state-of-the-art industrial robots, computer vision systems, and real-time control algorithms. This ensures fast, accurate, and scalable production. Less human error, more consistency, and above all, flexibility to quickly change the lineup as new versions of the car or battery are developed. It's an adaptable assembly line, something rare and valuable in the automotive industry. This level of total control allows Tesla to play with something almost no traditional automaker dares dot long-term price predictability. Knowing exactly how much it costs to produce each cell, assemble each vehicle, and deliver each unit, the company can keep prices stable even in times of crisis. This not only attracts consumers, but also scares the competition, which still depends on unstable suppliers, international freight, and complex chains. This is where the Tesla Model 2 stops being just a product and starts to feel like a game changer. The concept of car ownership as we know it today is about to radically change and the Model 2 is the catalyst for this transformation. It's no longer about buying an asset that depreciates over time. The idea here is that you're acquiring a durable, intelligent, and autonomous machine capable of paying for itself while you work, sleep, or simply stop using it. And all this thanks to the combination of long-lasting battery life, advanced software, and a new business model that revolves around mobility as a service. The proposition is simple, but powerful. You can buy a Model 2 for around $10.799, use when needed and when not in use, puts you on Tesla's robo-taxi network. This means your car will be driving the streets, transporting passengers, and generating revenue. Driverless, fuel-free, and with virtually no maintenance. And as we've seen, with a battery that can last over a million miles, this machine can work for decades, generating recurring revenue, becoming a true financial asset. 